Hello everyone, my name is Aruhi and welcome to my channel. So guys, in my today's video, I'll show you how to detect, track and then count the number of vehicles using YOLO V9. Recently, Ultralytics integrated this YOLO V9 algorithm into their Ultralytics package. And in my today's video, we will use the YOLO V9 algorithm through that Ultralytics package. After that, we perform tracking and then counting. So let's start. This is my Jupyter Notebook and here we are importing the modules, required modules and then I'm loading the YOLO V9 pre-trained model. So this model is trained on Coco dataset and Coco dataset is trained on various vehicles like car, bus, truck, motorcycle. So we are not training our model from scratch. We will use this YOLO V9 pre-trained model to detect the vehicles and then we will perform the tracking and the counting. This is a list of classes which are there in uh, Coco dataset. So this is a list of 80 classes. And then we are uh, initializing our track over here, which I'm getting from this uh, module. After that, this is the video on which I want to perform detection, tracking and counting. We are reading all the frames of the video one by one. After that, each frame is going to our model, our object detection model for uh, prediction and we have defined that model over here so we'll perform the prediction on each frame and the results are stored in this results variable after that we are just creating our data frame in this data frame we are going to store all the different values in a separate separate column so that we can access those values easily so let me print uh, so here we are printing this px the data frame let's see what kind of data we have in this this is what the output looks like but right now we are focusing on the data frame so this is the data frame for the first uh, first frame and we have these many different columns 0 1 2 3 4 5 so these are the different columns and in each column we have a separate value in first column we have this 398 this is the second column third fourth so these are the four bounding box coordinates and then we have the confidence score over here and this is the class id of the detected object so in first frame our algorithm detected these different objects and these are the different bounding box coordinate value and the class um, confidence score and the class ids so this is how we are going to get data in this px data frame all right now let's comment it here what I'm doing is we have created a blank list and in this list I want to store the bounding box coordinates like this x1, y1, x2, y2 we are storing all the values one by one all the bounding box co coordinates one by one and in d variable we are storing the class id what is this file this is the column number in column number 5 what we have class ids so in D variable, I'm storing the class IDs and in C variable, I'm just fetching the class names related to the class IDs which are there. Okay. And then, okay, let's comment this part for now. And then here, let's append the list. Now here I'm appending this list, this blank list. I'm appending this list with the bounding box coordinates. And this list will now become the input to our tracker. Here, tracker.update, we are updating the tracker with this list which we have over here. And then this loop further is responsible to put the dot in the center of the detected object and then the bounding box and the tracking ID. Here you can see we are fetching the data like this cx and cy why we why i've written these two lines because here i'm just trying to get the center of the detected object and this is how you can get it after that cv2 dot circle this will put a circle on each frame and at this location i want to put the uh, uh, circle which location the center of the detected object and i also want to put the rectangle on all the detected objects I also want to put the tracking IDs. So when you run this code, let's run it. So when you run this code, you get this. 
so guys here you will see that persons are also getting detected right so we don't want to detect the persons what we want is we only want to detect track and count the vehicles so now we will do minor modification in our code this is what i have done here here what what we can do we don't want to append our list over here we want to append the list after this step so what we are saying if car in c means over here we are getting the class names so if car is present in c then only we want to append the list the this list will become the input to the tracker now let's run it now we are only detecting and tracking the cars we are not detecting the persons which are sitting in it right so this part is done till now we have detected and track all the cars now next step is to count the cars so to count the cars first we need to draw a line in the center of this frame and we will write a script then we'll write a condition that if the car will touch that line then only we want to count that car okay so let's do that so we will so we will draw that line over here here let's paste this code so this is my code so this is just for the color that i want to whatever i want to write on that line i want that contained in white color and this red color this will give you the red color and i want to draw the line of red color cv2 dot line will draw the line and we have to define the starting coordinate of the line and the end coordinate of the line why we have two different values over here because for each point you have to tell the x and the y point where you want to put the line so this is the starting bound coordinate of the line and this is the end coordinate of the line and i want to draw that line of red color and on that line i want to write red line okay so put text we'll put a this uh, text on it so uh, before counting let's see if we are getting it correctly so we have the red line now now guys uh, let's write uh, right now you can see that we are getting the bounding box coordinates and the ids and the center we have a dot in the center of all the objects now let's write a condition that only put bounding box coordinate and the id uh, on the cards when the when those cars touch the red line let's comment these three lines because we don't want to put the bounding box coordinates and the other related things on all the cars what we want is we want to write a condition that if car touch only put the bounding box coordinate and the ids tracking ids and the dot in the center of those object which touch the red line so we commented this part and over here we are writing a condition and this is a condition this let's run this code first so that you'll see what kind of output we are getting then i'll explain you see when cars are touching the red line then only we are getting the bounding box coordinates and the class ids and the dots see right so this is our condition now let's understand this condition so this y over here in this y i'm just writing this number 308 what this 308 is if you see the line which we have created this is the starting coordinate of the uh, red line this is the x value and the y value of the starting line this is the x and y value of the end of the red line so we want to write a condition that if car touch the red line so we need to define the position of the um, uh position of the line so that's what we have written over here and this is offset now our condition is here in this line we are writing a condition that if car touch the red line then we want to perform this action now what this action is first we are having a down dictionary and this dictionary will store the id and the current position of all those cars the cars which are touching the red line so let's print this down dictionary so that you can understand it better what we are doing here okay so let's print it over here print down and now let's check frame by frame 
in order to understand it better down is not defined all right so guys this down over here this is a dictionary as i've told you so we have to define it first let's define this dictionary here down this is a dictionary now okay now let's run it first frame is empty so this is the dictionary so our dictionary is empty in the for the first frame why because this car the center of this car is not touching the red line next check the second frame in second frame also our dictionary is empty because uh, right now also the center of this car is not touching the red line let's see for, for few frames now here you can see when the center of the car touch this red line we have the bounding box coordinate we have the dot in the center and we have the id now let's see our dictionary here now we have the id of the car and the current position of the car 303 means from the y axis at 303 pixel the center of the car is detected okay id and the current position now let's go to the next one in next frame also the car id is same because the car is same but this time the position has changed from 303 to 305 because car moved a little bit two pixels um, in front side so that's why the position is different let's run it for few frames now let's check for this white car okay So this white car, when the center of this car will touch the red line, it will get a bounding box, right? So let's keep on seeing that. Here. Now this car touched the red line. We have a bounding box coordinate. And let's scroll down our list and see. Now we in down dictionary, we have two different records. First one is for the first car. And this is the car which is detected just now and the ID of that car is 1 and, and it is at this position. This is the current position of the car. So this is how this down dictionary will keep on recording the car IDs and their current positions when those cars will touch the red line. Next thing is now we want to count the cars. Cars are touching the red line. We want to count the car when the, those cars touch the red line. Let's write that script. So for that, we will just use this counter. This counter down dot add IDs. Whenever cars will touch the red line, we will store all the IDs in this counter down list. Now let's create this list over here. Counter down and then this. And we have defined the counter down here. We have, we are uh, adding all the IDs over here. Now the last thing is we want to show the count of the vehicles on the frames. So for that we will write here, this is what I've written, counter down. We are checking the length of the counter and we want to show this counter on each frame and we'll write going down first and in front of that we'll see the count. Okay, let's run it. So guys, right now the center of the car is not touching. Now it touched and we have a counter. Count over here is 1. Next, see the next frame. When this white car will touch the uh, when this white car center will touch the red line, the counter will increase. Okay? Let's see that. Now this car touched here. Our counter is 2 now. Let's see next few frames. Okay. ID, we have the counter 3 over here. Now let's see about this car. Here, it touched the line and we have a 4 over here. So this is how guys it works. So I have given the link of this code in description section. You can try this code. And I hope this video is helpful. And guys, if you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.